Welcome traders to another Titmill Earnings Report preview with me, Patrick Munnerly. Before we jump into today's report, it's important that we adhere to the risk disclaimer. Material provided is for information purposes only and should not be considered as investment advice. The views, information and opinions expressed in this recording are solely mine and they're not indicative or representative of those held by Titmill UK or Titmill Europe Limited. Okay, let's jump into today's report. We're looking at Peloton, due to release before the open in New York today. Looking for earnings per share of 83 cents on revenue of 976.12 million. Uh, I would highlight that there is a whisper number on the street that the EPS could print as high as 92 cents per share. Obviously, Peloton was one of the hottest names in the Fitness during the pandemic with more than 6.2 million members. Peloton stock was one of the brightest spots in the coronavirus stock market rally. Shares saw a gain of more than 440% in 2020. But after reaching a peak in January 2021, Peloton stock has been on a steep downhill ride. And <clears throat> the future of the company remains uncertain in the wake of layoffs and reported takeover rumours, uh, though the buyout buzz recently has uh, seen shares become a little bit more volatile. Peloton generates most of its revenue uh, through sales of bikes and treadmills, which range in price from $1,895 to $4,295. The all-access membership for its owners uh, of its expensive equipment runs at $39 a month. A digital membership with no access to the bike or tread classes is $12.99 a month. But to determine if Peloton stock is buy right now, it's really key to analyze uh, the, the potential changes that are coming in Peloton's plans uh, with respect to pricing structure for the equipment and the subscription program. The company will increase the cost of subscriptions for Peloton Interactive Platform starting in June. Those monthly memberships will jump from $39 to $44. The increase in the connected fitness app follows a cut in price for Peloton's bikes and treadmill equipment. Peloton bikes will now cost $14.45 instead of the $17.45. The treadmill will retail for $2,695 instead of the $28.45 level. Analysts say the price changes could lower the barrier of entry for Peloton equipment and stabilize the company's earnings over the long term. So let's take a look at uh, what we can glean from the statistical trading patterns for Peloton. Uh, Peloton shares have moved lower in the immediate aftermath of earnings 7 out of 10 previous reports. On average, the stock moved down 3.2% in the first day of trading after the company's reported earnings. Based on the previous 10 earnings releases, Peloton is more likely to trade lower one day after earnings for an average loss of 3.2%. On average, the stock has moved lower by 1.1% one week after earnings. In terms of what the options market is pricing from a volatility perspective, uh, options traders are pricing in a 23.9% move on earnings. Stocks averaged a 12.7% move in recent quarters. From a flow and sentiment perspective, it's noteworthy that on April the 21st, there was uh, some notable buying 1,267 contracts of the $35 call bullish uh, expiring Friday, September 16th this year. Options order flow sentiment in general has also been bullish. Investor sentiment going into the company's earnings release has 19% expecting an earnings beat. The company's guidance was for revenue of 950 million. Consensus estimates are for earnings to decline year over year by 2,666%, with revenue decreasing by 22.67%. Short interest has decreased by 13.2% since the company's last earnings release, while the stock has actually drifted lower by 48% from its open following its prior earnings release, to be 72.6% below its 200-day moving average of $57.23. So let's take a look at the charts now and see where there might be some technical trading opportunities. Uh, it's noteworthy that obviously we have witnessed a very steep decline here and we are uh, printing new all-time lows in the stock, but this is being accompanied by a potential wedge pattern developing here. So I'm looking for any pop down into the $12 level, watch for bullish reversal patterns to engage on the long side, look for us to trade up through the descending wedge resistance into the high volume mode at $26.20 and then I'm looking for that move up through that $35 call level and, uh, and get a retest of these prior highs here at $39.79. However, 
if, uh, if the earnings come in weak and uh, the market responds negatively. Any move through $10, I would be short the stock, looking for a move down to test the $5.76 to $5.47 level as the next downside objective. As always, traders plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.